No human being will ever know the truth, for even if they happened to say it by chance, they would not know they had done so. Xenophon. Xenophon is recognized as one of the greatest writers of antiquity. He wrote in several genres in plain Attic Greek, which has survived to the present day and is used for student translation exercises even nowadays. Welcome back, guys, to Few Minutes Knowledge. In this video, we're talking about Xenophon. Xenophon was born near Athens around 430 BC and died in his 70s, around 355 or 354 BC. He was a military commander of one of the biggest Greek mercenary armies, called the Ten Thousand, of the Achaemenid, or First Persian Empire, who almost captured Babylon in 401 BC. Xenophon was known as a genius warrior. He set the basis for many logistical military operations and was the first one to describe some military maneuvers in combat. Besides being in military, Xenophon was a good writer and historian. While being in Persia, in his work in Nabis, he wrote about his adventures and left a testimony from the first hand about combats, his experience, and return to Greece. In Cyropedia, his other book, he wrote about political and military methods that Cyrus the Great, Persian king, used while conquering the Neo-Babylon Empire in 539 BC. Both Anabasis and Cyropedia inspired Alexander the Great to conquer Babylon and the Persian Empire more than 200 years later. Xenophon was Socrates' friend and a student, and his several works were dedicated to him. Memorabilia is Xenophon's longest Socratic work, a four-book collection of conversational vignettes demonstrating Socrates' practical wisdom on various topics. The work also refutes the charges of corruption and religious deviance at Socrates' trial also addressed an apology, a work very different from Plato's. By demonstrating someone whose views on religion, friendship, personal relationships, ambition, education, theology, temperance, and justice were entirely appropriate. Despite being Athenian, Xenophon was often seen more as a Spartan due to his military engagement in Sparta and friendship with Spartan emperors. All we know today about Spartan society is thanks to his chronicles and the biography of the Spartan king Agesilaus. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share the video with your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel to get more awesome content. See you in my next video.